Welcome back to another video with me and today we have a glute focused leg workout. But first, I want to thank my friend Chow for being such an angel and coming down to help me film my leg workout. But anyway, if you're looking for a workout, you know, to develop that peach booty, that booty that make people turn, then you've come to the right video. Also, don't say I didn't warn you, but this workout is gonna kill your legs. Now if you're ready, let's get into step 1 and that is glute activation. Now if you're the type of person who sits on your butt all day because you're studying or if you're in the office, then honestly we don't use our glutes a lot and that is why we need to use glute activation workouts to wake up the glutes. And this is going to make it easier for you to engage your glutes in the following workouts. Now the first glute activation exercise that I have for you are called crab walks. Now as you can see in this video, I'm actually using a resistance band in order to engage my glutes. Now what you want to do is step out to the side and make sure that you focus all the weight on your heel. I think you can see here that my toes are lifted up because I want to focus most of the weight into my heel and really dig in. What's important in this workout is also to make sure that most of the flexion occurs at your hips and not so much at your knees. Now my second exercise is just going to be squats together with this resistance band. What I'm trying to show you in this video is to have your toes pointing out and that will keep your legs externally rotated and hence engage your glute maximus better. Now when you're squatting, you also have to make sure that your knees are pointing outwards in line with your toes. Once you've reached a position where your thighs are almost parallel to the ground, that's when you can come up and make sure that you're driving through your heels again. When you're coming up, don't forget to squeeze the glutes. Once you're done with 10 squats, we're going into 10 jumping squats and this will really fire up your glutes. Once you're done with this, we're ready to start the workout. And the first exercise that we have are my favorites and these are hip thrusts. So for hip thrusts, form is very, very important as it is in every other leg workout where you're using heavier weights. Okay, so first let's talk about reps and sets first and then we can talk about pointers on how to complete this with proper form. In the first two sets, we're going to use both legs to do 15 reps. So after these two sets, you're going to complete another two sets of which you're going to do 5 reps on the right leg, 5 reps on the left leg and then 5 reps with both legs. So when you have one foot forward, that foot forward is going to be your supporting leg and then the foot closer to your body is going to be the weight bearing leg of which you're going to push through the weight. So to get in position, what you want to do is to have your feet slightly wider than hip width apart and you're going to have your toes pointing out again and this is going to make sure that you engage your glute maximus. So when you come up to the top of the movement, you have to make sure to really, really squeeze your glutes and always make sure that your chin is tucked in. If this is your first time performing a hip thrust, I'm going to be linking some of my favorite video links down below on how to perform a hip thrust with proper form. Also, if this is your first time, do not load on the weight too heavy. You want to have lighter weight. So how far away your feet is from your body is also going to make sure that you're going to engage your glutes. If you place it too far, you'll engage too much of your hamstrings and if you place it too near, you'll emphasize too much on your quad. So where you want to place your feet is basically at the point where when you come up in the movement, your knees are a 90 degrees angle from the floor. You also want to make sure that the only point of flexion and extension is mostly occurring at your hips. To make sure that your spine is not flexing, make sure to engage your core and really tighten up your spine. Also make sure to have your chin tucked in and this will make sure that your cervical spine is not involved. Now the second set of exercise is going to be a compound superset and what this means is that we're going to do compound exercises back to back with no rest in between. Now in the superset, we're going to start with 10 reps of sumo deadlifts and then we're going to go straight into 10 reps of stiff leg deadlifts. 
Now there are multiple forms of which you can perform a deadlift but the one that I like the most is a sumo deadlift because it has better protection for your spine and it also engages your glutes and your hamstrings really well. So the first part of sumo deadlift, you have to have your feet pointing out and your legs pretty far apart. Then when you come down and pick up the weight, you're going to have your legs about 90 degrees to the floor. And when you're going to lift up the weight, I want you to drive through your heels, engage your core, straighten your back as well as tighten up your shoulders. I know this is a super confusing movement which is why I'm also going to link some videos down below on how to perform a deadlift. So once you've done 10 reps of sumo deadlifts, we're going to move straight away into stiff leg deadlifts. Now for this one, you're going to have your feet closer together and they're going to be pointing forward. And in this movement, you're only going to be hinging at your hip and very little at your knees. Now because deadlifts are more dangerous than other forms of compounds, I do recommend starting with a low weight and then slowly increasing your weight as the reps continue. So now that we're done with our compound movements, we're going to move into a superset. In this superset, we have two exercises back to back with no rest in between and once you're done with one set, you're allowed one to two minutes of rest before you complete the next superset. Now in this superset, we have two exercises and the first one is going to be walking lunges. Now this is for your quads and it's also a single leg movement. So it's going to allow you to make sure that you have less muscle imbalance. Once you're done with the walking lunges, we're going to go straight into Bulgarian split squats. These are also a single leg movement and hence will help with muscle imbalance. What you want to do is to have one leg lifted up on a supporting chair or whatever you can find and the other leg will be your working leg. Now you want to go down as deep as possible in the lunge before you feel a stretch in your hamstrings and then come right back up making sure that you drive through your heels. Now this movement is pretty advanced so I think it's better if you start with lighter weights and slowly load it up. However, do not be afraid to challenge yourself. So now we're going to move into the burnout part of this workout and I recommend using a resistance band. I'm going to leave a link below where you can purchase your resistance bands and I bought mine for only $8 for 4 resistance bands of increasing resistance. So the first exercise of this burnout section is going to be lying leg abductions. So you're going to have to point your knees towards the ground and the easiest way is to point your toes down so that your knees follow and this is going to make sure that your legs are in an internal rotation. Now you're going to do 10 reps where your feet are parallel to each other. Then you're going to do another 10 reps with your foot behind and another 10 reps with your foot in front. And you're not allowed to have any rest because this is the burnout workout. So once you're done with this 30 reps of lying leg abductions, you're going to bring your knees in to have it in a 90 degrees angle. You're going to have your toes pointing up again, your knees pointing down and this is going to allow it to be in an internal rotation again. So now you're going to lift your leg up and see where my hands are placed, that's where the glutes are and that's where I'm going to make sure that I feel the burn. Once you've completed 10 reps of this, you're going to do 10 reps again but with a pulse in the center and trust me this one is really going to kill you. So now we're going to end the booty workout with clamshells. You're going to have your feet together and you're only abducting your knees away from each other and by now you should really really be dying. So once you've completed one leg, be sure to do the other leg because we don't want our butts to be asymmetrical. So that concludes the end of my leg workout. I hope you guys liked the video and if you do, do remember to like and subscribe and share the video with your friends. If you have any questions about form or how to grow your glutes effectively, do leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to reply you as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.